Okay, so we had a, a few issues with this experiment because uh, one of the reagents was missing uh, and by the time we worked that out it was a bit too late. So uh, I'm giving you a value and I'm not going to use that value. I'm going to say it took um, two, what shall I say, can't give you the same number. Let's say it took two mils of this solution uh, of thiosulfate solution. So um, what did we actually do in this experiment? Um, what we did is we're just measuring the amount of oxygen in the water. So we're not doing a full uh, biological oxygen demand. We're just doing the final step where we're me measuring uh, more like a control, the amount of oxygen in the water. Uh, and so this value is going to be a little low because I've chosen a number lower than uh, the numbers I've given you. So what, what's going on here is the oxygen is uh, bound by the manganese dioxide and then uh, the manganese dioxide uh, reacts uh, with the iodine uh, and uh, forms a starch complex it's blue and then using thiosulfate uh, we react that out and so what you've got is a mole ratio now you need to be able to do these sort of things in your IB uh, work through several reactions and so what you've got is two moles of uh, thiosulfate uh, is reacting with one mole of iodine uh, which is reacting with uh, one mole of manganese dioxide uh, and if that's one uh, I need to reduce these to one so divide them by two so that's one and that's a half uh, and so that's reacting with a half of O2 so we can't have fractions so we'll times them all out by uh, two, and so the so what you're getting here is uh, one mole of O2 is to four moles of thiosulfate. Okay, uh, and so what's the first step here? So what we did here is uh, we used we ended up for this reaction here. Um, we ended up using uh, two uh, two mils. Well, I'm saying two mils now. All right, and so the first step is to work out how many moles that is. Uh, so the number of moles of uh, thiosulfate uh, concentration equals number of moles on volume. So the number of moles equals concentration times volume. Uh, that concentration is here. So it's 0 0.018 uh, moles per liter. Uh, times uh, 0.002. All right, so I'm not editing this out. So I'm just going to give you my calculations. This will slow things down for you if you sound too fast. Um, 3.6 by 10 to the minus 5 moles of thiosulfate. Um, and so we pull that over here. I'm going to use. Um, ditto sign, um, which is probably more appropriate if I use this sign here, which is the ditto Pokemon. Alright, so I'm going to use that instead, um, and I need to cut that out of course for, for use, so that's going to be ditto. Thank you. All right, uh, and so what's that? The number of moles, so the 3.6 is to X and cross multiplication saves you every time for chemistry. The math is quite simple if you use that method. So 4X equals one times that, which is ditto. Uh, so that is not working. So much for that, uh, and so that's uh, 3.6 by 10 to the minus 5, and so x equals ditto. Why is my ditto not working? All right, divided by 4, uh, and that's 9 by 10 to the minus uh, 6. Okay. Uh, and so that's the number of moles of, of O2. Now this uh, is actually much simpler because we don't have to work out the total volume or anything. It's not. Um, so we've we've taken a sample of, of 50 mils, and um, where's that written? Here. 
Uh, and so we've already got the concentration of the whole thing. We've just taken a sample of 50 mL, so that's fine. Um, and so we can just work out the concentration of, of O2 and then convert it to our parts per million to get to get our, our final answer. All right, and so the parts per million is milligrams per kilogram of water. So we just need to do that and get our conversions. Uh, and so, um, so what we do we need to do there? Sorry, so we need to work out the mass, uh, the mass of O2. Uh, so number of moles equals mass times uh, mass times molar mass. And so that's, sorry, um, mass, number of moles is M1M. So mass equals N times big M. Uh, and so that's uh, oxygen, so it's 32 grams per mole uh, times number of moles, which is this value here. All right, uh, so I'll times that by 32 and I'll get 2.88 by 10 to the minus four. Uh, and that's uh, grams of oxygen. Uh, and so the last thing we need to do is the conversion to parts per million. So um, this is uh, so the concentration of, of O2 uh, is 2.88 by 10 to the minus 4 grams of oxygen uh, per uh, 50 here 50 uh, 50 mils of water uh, and so that's per 50 grams all right uh, so what are we going to do uh, let's times that all out uh, let's divide both sides by 50 let's get that to a 1 so we've got uh, 5.76 by 10 to the minus 6 grams per gram uh, converting grams to milligrams uh, there's a thousand milligrams in a gram so I times it by a thousand so let's uh, I'll do that on the calculator so I can save myself trouble if I get into any trouble later uh, so that's 5.6 by 10 to the minus 3 so the calculators put that into decimals now um, and so that's milligrams per gram and now if it's a kilogram we need to times both sides by a thousand because there's a thousand grams in a kilogram and so I'll get my calculator times by a thousand again because my math is so good. Um, five point, that was sarcasm, uh, milligrams per kilogram. Uh, and so that is five, that's what parts per million is. So I can write parts per million now. Uh, so the answer is 5.76 parts per million. Um, the maximum solution, the maximum value is nine. So you can't get higher than nine unless you've done something very wrong. And 5.76. Uh, I just gave you a value of two. Okay, you've got a different value. I did that on purpose so I can see that you've done your homework on Google Classroom. So hopefully that helps you. And um, I'm doing another video for the first years on oxalic acid. And it's probably good to watch that video too because it's good revision for you. And it's a little bit harder than this even, I think. All right, so good luck.